DARPA is developing technologies that would enable future U.S. warfighters to take advantage of complex networks of weapon systems to operate more effectively in contested environments. This system of system strategy aims to enhance mission effectiveness and decrease risk to U.S. pilots while imposing asymmetric costs upon adversaries. The approach also makes it possible to rapidly upgrade mission systems and ensure use of the most up-to-date software and hardware. In this scenario, a United States fighter begins to close on an enemy integrated air defense site to punch a hole through the adversary's defenses and create a corridor of safe access for U.S. strike forces. The fighter is accompanied to the rear by a specially designed mission truck perhaps akin to a modified C-130. This mission truck has the ability to deploy a wide variety of easily upgraded low-cost weapons including recoverable unmanned aircraft systems or UAS platforms. While staying well outside enemy engagement ranges, the truck greatly expands mission capability and the fighter's virtual payload capacity. As the fighter approaches the attack range of the air defense missiles, a command is sent to the mission truck to deploy a number of UASs with passive sensors and jam-resistant communications. They are commanded from the fighter, but the pilot is relieved of control burdens through the use of advanced distributed battle management aids, making it as easy to coordinate UAS activities as it would be to communicate with fellow wingmen. The presence of the U.S. forces draws the attention of the air defense site's target engagement radar. The UASs close within the threat range of the site's missiles and use their passive sensors to detect and localize the enemy target engagement radars. At the same time, they begin cooperative jamming of the radar to enhance their own survivability. The data they collect are transmitted back to the fighter, which fuses the information with data from its very own capable sensors to create a targeting solution against the enemy radar. The fighter pilot designates the enemy radar for weapons engagement. The battle management system generates an optimal solution for the UASs to perform cooperative radar sensing with the fighter. Their proximity and spatial distribution provides high-quality targeting data while allowing the fighter to maximize its own survivability. The distributed radars collect imagery sufficient to confirm positive combat identification of the enemy radar and provide precise targeting coordinates, but the fighter pilot must look at the images to make the final decision to strike. To avoid the challenge of data overload on the comms link between the UASs and the fighter, advanced automatic target recognition software on each UAS identifies the target and transmits just a limited amount of the imagery around this point to allow the fighter pilot to make the final engagement decision. Once the decision to engage has been made, the pilot sends a command to the mission truck to attack. The planning of the engagement, selection, and programming of weapons and generation of a targeted solution is again conducted with minimal pilot burden using the advanced battle management system. The mission truck launches a swarm of small, low-cost cruise missiles, or LCCMs, that speed toward the enemy radar target. While each missile has a relatively small warhead, collectively they can have a tremendous impact. As the LCCMs close on the enemy radar, the adversary launches a counterstrike of surface-to-air missiles, or SAMs, in waves. Many of the LCCMs can be expected to be destroyed, but in doing so, the adversary expends many expensive long-range SAMs at a significant cost disadvantage. In the end, several LCCMs make it through the onslaught and, guided by low-cost precision seekers, destroy the enemy radar, neutralizing the enemy air defenses along that corridor. Under the System of Systems focus, Stowe has awarded contracts to develop concepts, architectures, and tools to facilitate rapid integration and testing of new capabilities for national defense. 